Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Outdoors. Today we will be looking at a math doku puzzle and how to solve a 4x4 puzzle in an easy way. Please do watch our introduction episode to know more about math doku. Now, this is our method to solve a 4x4 puzzle. The objective is to fill the grid in with the digits 1 through 4. First, we will identify the cages and mark them as A, B, C. Then, we will note down the options available for each cage operation. If there is only one option, then we will mark it on the puzzle. Then we choose the option from others which meets the criteria to complete the puzzle. So let's do a 4x4 puzzle. Let's name the cages. This will be cage A, cage B, cage C, cage D, cage E, cage F and cage G. In cage A, there are three cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 9. So, the options are 4 plus 4 plus 1, 4 and 4 plus 2 plus 3. In cage B, there are three cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 9. So, there is only one option, which is 4 plus 2 plus 3. Now, you might be thinking, there is also 4 plus 4 plus 1, right? But, a number can't be repeated in a column or row. So, if it was 4 plus 4 plus 1, then 4 would have been repeated in the column. Now, the K, T, and Z are the same, so they will have the same options. In these cages, there are two cells, and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 5. And the options are 2 plus 3 and 4 plus 1. In cage D, there are two cells. And the operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our res result must be 2. And the options are 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. Gates E and F are the same, so they will have the same options. Now, in these cases, there are two cells, and the operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our result must be 1. So, the options are 4 minus 3, 3 minus 2, and 2 minus 1. Now, let's start solving the puzzle. In cage B, there is only one option, 4 plus 2 plus 3. But we don't know where to put it. So we write it over here. Now, as B is in a straight, it's a straight cell, and 4 and 2 and 3 came over here. So there's only one number left. So for completing this column, here it will be 1. And for completing, you can see in KG, there is 2 plus 3 and 4 plus 1. Now we can eliminate 2 plus 3 because uh, 1 is already there in the cell. So it will be 4 plus 1. Here 4 will go. Now in cage D, there are two options, which are 3 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. We can't use 4 minus 2 because 
then it will be a repeat of four in the same column so it must be three minus one we don't know the places so we write it over here now for completing this column here one and three came here four one and here it must be two which means for case a the option must be four plus two plus three now let's think about this row the remaining numbers are three and two Let's say, for example, we use 3 over here. So if we use 3 over here, we can't use it because here, for completing this cell, we need 4 and 3. And if 3 was over here, it would be a repeat of 3 in the same column. So here, 2 will go. And here, 3. Now, in case E, you can see that 2 is there in two options. Again, if we use 3 minus 2, it would be a repeat of 3 in the same column. So, it would be 2 minus 1. 1, we write 1 over here. Now, as 1 came in this row, here, 3 will come over here and 1 will go over here as no number, number shall be repeated in a row. Now, let's look at cage F. There are two options in which three is present. Now, if we use four over here, then the remaining numbers for this column must be 2 and 1. But 2 plus 1 is not equal to 5. So, it will not be 4 over here. It would be 2. And now, for completing this row, here 4 will come. Now, you can see, uh, for completing this cage, we need 2 and 3. As 2 already came in this row, here 2 will come and here 3. Now the remaining numbers for this column are 4 and 1. As 1 came in this row, 1 will be over here and 4 over here. Now for completing this row, here it would be 3. And over here, it would be 4. Let's recheck. 4 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 9. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 9. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Now. Let's look at another puzzle. Let's name the cages. This will be cage A, cage B, cage C, cage D, cage E, F, and G. Now, in cage A, there are two cells, and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 5. So, the options are 4 plus 1 and 2 plus 3. Now, as cage B, C, E, and G are the same, they will have the same options. Now, in these cages, there are two cells, and the operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our result must be 2. So, the options are 4 minus 2 and 3 minus 1. Now, in cage D, there are three cells 
and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 6. So, the only option is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Now, in cage F, there are 3 cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 9. So, the options are 4 plus 4 plus 1 and 4 plus 2 plus 3. Now, you can see that cage D has only one option. 1 plus 2 plus 3. We don't know where to put these numbers. So, we write it over here. Now, for completing this column, here there is 1, 2, and 3. So here, it must be 4. And, as you can see, in cage A, the options two are 2, 2 plus 3 and 4 plus 1. But, only one option has 4, which is 4 plus 1. So the remaining number must be 1. Now, in cage E, you can see there are two options, 4 minus 2 and 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 can't be, uh, can't be valid because here already 1 is present. Then uh, if it was 3 minus 1, then it would be a repeat of 1 in the same column. So it is 4 minus 2. We don't know the places. So we write it down over here. Now, for completing this column, here we write a 3. Now, as you can see, in case F, only one option has 3, which is 4 plus 2 plus 3. So we are going to use this option. Now, if we use 4 and 2 over here, then the remaining numbers for this column would be 1 and 3. So, if 1 and 3 are coming here, it would be 3 and here it would be 1 as there is already a 1 in this row. Now. For completing this row, here it must be 2. And now in case C, you can see that only one option has 2, which is 4 minus 2. So the remaining option must be 4. As 4 already came over here, uh, 4 can't be repeated in the same row. So here 2 will go and here 4. Uh, for completing this row, here it will be 3. Now, uh, here the remaining numbers for this row are 1 and 3. As 3 already came in this row, here, 1 will come and here, 3. Now, for completing this column, we need 2 and 1. As 1 already came in this row, 1 will go over here and 2 over here. Now, for completing this row here, it will be 4. And here, 2. Let's recheck. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 9. And 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. This is all about math doku. 
Wasn't it interesting? For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.